are you up to? Finding out everything I can on anyone that's got a connection to Grantham. Yeah? Mm. Need some help? From you? Ouch, come on, I'm not that bad at computers. No one's standing out as a possible killer. Ooh. Guess what? I'm interviewing Elliot tomorrow. Hmm. How'd you get Pollyanna to agree to that? No one can resist my charm. Good luck with that one. Katie Kirk would have trouble cracking that nut. Uh, Katie Kirk ain't done nothing on me. You haven't changed a bit since the day I met you. Kick through your walls, didn't I? You did. But come on, I wasn't that bad, was I? Yeah, you were. Really? Jack. Shut up. <laughs> Ew. It's not just me then. Are those footsteps? <laughs> okay, let's not go crazy here. It's probably just an animal. An animal with two legs? We heard something else when you were gone. What? Voices. What kind of voices? Human whispering voices. Saying... Well, I don't know. We can't really make out what they were saying. Well, I'm sure it was just the wind. I heard it too, it wasn't the wind. I got it on camera. I can show you. Okay. I will reserve my judgment until I hear the whispering voices myself. You do know you have as little proof for your logical explanations as I have for my paranormal theories, right? You feel that too? Yeah. Felt it the moment we walked in here. It's like something's watching me. Some kind of presence. Okay, I love a good ghost story as much as the next person, but seriously, it's gonna take a hell of a lot more than whispering voices and creaky floorboards to convince me that this place is haunted. Okay, did you not just hear what we heard? It's unsubstantiated evidence, Casey. Are you telling me you don't feel anything when you're here? It's cold, but it's a big old drafty house. If you're asking me if my spidey senses start tingling, they don't. They will. Again, with the obscure one-line insinuations, what does that even mean? I'm just saying that it seems to be the consensus of everyone who steps foot in here that the longer you stay at Grantham House, the more it affects you. What are you not telling us? Nothing. I'm just saying that it has a long history of scaring the crap out of people. And I don't think that many people can be wrong. It's starting to scare the crap out of me. Come on, she's just messing with you. No, Jack. I feel it. Sometimes I can actually feel something almost touching me. My skin starts tingling. I feel cold. I keep catching flickers out of the corner of my eye, but when I look, nothing's there. The house feels off to me. I'm sorry, Casey. But I just don't buy this whole ghost thing. Fine. Can you at least try to keep the criticisms to a minimum? Can you at least consider other possibilities instead of assuming that every little thing is a paranormal experience? Deal. <sighs> Those noises were creepy, but I'm still not convinced it's not an animal. Well, if you want, maybe I can throw you over the hole in the staircase so you can go up and find out. Oh! Oh my god, she's so funny. She's like a comedian. Okay, okay. You guys need a timeout. Whatever. <sighs> I'm gonna get changed. It's going great! Yeah, like a Kanye West, Taylor Swift reunion, jeez. What is wrong with them? It's like they're instantly repelled by each other. Okay, anyway, 
back to why we're actually here. I'm the most scared I've ever been. Like, ever. I think it's because of the quiet. Jack was talking earlier about animals and that got me thinking. I haven't seen anything since we got here. No bugs. No mice. No spiders. Nothing. The house is still. Honestly, that makes me feel nervous. You know when you're a kid and you were so afraid to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, so you'd run, turn on the lights, make sure nothing was there? That's how I feel here, but times a thousand. I have to keep fighting the urge to check that nothing is here with me. Something is here. I don't know. Maybe the stories are just messing with my head. Maybe I need a timeout. <laughs> <laughs>